Welcome to jobskillshare.org. This video is specially designed for our batch 2 interns in Jobskillshare Discord community, but anyone watching this video can take tips from it. So today we'll talk about why do we use LinkedIn on your resume. So this is a template that we gave our batch 1 and we had some good success stories. So now we are doing this for batch 2. And the reason we are using LinkedIn because the current trend in the market is that people do look at these links. Number one, you should have a good profile on LinkedIn, but it's also important for people to quickly find you through your resume. The second most important reason is that since you're doing an internship, you're getting an experience, which most of the people will not have this if they're brand new to IT. They may learn skills but they may not get these type of experience on their resume. So when you are verifying that I was a part of DMEIT Solutions, then of course people will just simply go up and click on it because that's the easy way for them to find DMEIT Solution because if you have a LinkedIn profile, they can quickly find out where is DMEIT Solutions and what they do and the profile of DMEIT Solutions. And that is the value that we are adding on this resume. Now, this is a community where we work together to enhance your profile, enhance your skills. So when you create a LinkedIn account, you will be sharing your LinkedIn information in batch two. Now, let's say, for example, you are not a part of internship. What can you do? You can simply come to our community and if you look at here in the introduction channel, we have a channel called LinkedIn Connect. Simply connect with other people. Even though if you're an intern, you're still going to be coming over here and connecting with people from batch one, people from this whole community. So in a few minutes or a few days, you will have a lot of connections. So let's go ahead and open a real profiles from our last batch that have actually landed a job. So let's just continue watching the profile just to learn what can we do and what are some of the important things when you start creating your profile on LinkedIn. So here's an example of one of our users who was a part of batch one actually landed a job. So I want to point out a few things. I removed the picture from here for privacy reasons, but you need to first find or take a professional picture and put it on LinkedIn. Then the second thing is that make sure your background picture is also professional. So the way to test this, if it's good or do you really need some changes, once you create a profile picture and a background picture, you should come back to the community and share your link and ask batch one or batch two or the whole community, what do you guys think about my profile? After when you take care of your pictures, provide a full name. If you don't want to provide a middle name, that's fine. After the name, the most important thing in your profile is the title. It's very important that you should have something related to IT support positions because that is what you're going to be applying for and your resume should match this type of titles. Now in our internship, we use information technology support technician. This is a broader term, but it covers many different terms like help desk, desktop support, user support technician, the reason we don't put a specific title like user support technician because there are many other jobs they may be a little different than that so we want to put information technology then your ability to being to be searched by people in linkedin is much more higher and you're not specifically getting tied with a specific term like help desk or user support tech or something like that so that's why we use information technology support technician. This person landed a job, they're using that. Another example that I can show you is another one landed a job, they're still using that. And then we have another members uh, in this community who have landed a job, they're using this title. So we already know that this title is working, but of course should, you should come to the community and ask more questions about title. Now after your title, Another most important thing is connection. Just like I showed you in the beginning that you need to build connections. And the best way to do this is to go to our Discord community. The link is in the disc uh, description. Click on LinkedIn Connect and connect with everyone over here. The reason everybody's sharing their links over here is for that connection. So you will get good connections that are related to your career. So this means 
anybody that are sharing their post their information you're going to get good information that's related to what you're trying to achieve and this way you will be connected to other people that are maybe in their con their network about IT so you, you'll have a solid connections that are related to information technology so you will take care of connection that way so these are the three the first one is uh, your picture name your main title and the connection so that holds a value that that gives you a good value a good valuable profile when somebody click on your resume they, 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 like, they like to see that so imagine if somebody click on your profile from your resume and you only have like five connections it's just not going to hold that value so you need to get these connections and that's the first step all of our interns have to do and you if you're not even an intern you can do this this is publicly available in our discord so you should come and actually apply these uh, tips that are available to everybody now this is the biggest one and the biggest one is that DMB IT solution so imagine if somebody opens that profile they're they're looking at your resume now you have verified that because they can straight go to our page right here that's their job to verify our own company or not but there's a company and then that's the main value that just like your resume holds more value when you have experience that's where your profile also holds more value when you have experience right here and that is the main thing over here that our interns are using because it's a program then they can talk about it they can talk about what they did how they have worked on ticketing system how have they used labs how have they created documentation it's a story and the story is all related to this job and you can see most of our interns if you come over here and you go to the DMVIT solutions most of them have actually came from a different uh, careers and now landed a job because this, this is a very valuable thing and that is the main reason why, why we are doing a very serious internship with interviews and that sort of thing so again the point over here is very clear that you just like your resume we are promoting skills uh, and we are heavily promoting skills that if you know skills you can land any IT job especially the first jobs the entry level jobs and we have proven that in, in our discord community not just me myself or um, uh, you know in this community it's a whole community of jobs to share community Keftech community there's IT career questions community just go to these different channels and you'll find out that how many people have landed a job without certifications without a degree now we're not saying we're not discouraging people to not not do that Th that those are additional and good things but what we are saying is that if you do it smartly then you can actually utilize all of these things together and get a job very quickly and not only getting a job you actually then need to perform that job so the best part of this internship and that in, in your in your LinkedIn that you're showing that you know these things it's going to be tested you you can come and actually learn these skills so then you have a little stress-free life in IT so again in jobs share we don't just say we're happy that you landed a job we say that we're happy that you landed a job but now you can do your job in a little stress-free environment because you know these things so that's the first task for batch two that you need to create a linkedin profile once you create a linkedin profile you need to follow these tips that i just shared in this video once you do that you're going to come back over here and share your link and we will verify that have you done everything correctly we will be adding more to this task in this community right here but this is only for batch two interns if you're looking at this video and you're first time watching us you should come over here join the community and connect with other people using the linkedin channels on the top and then start doing the process so you can be a part of batch three then Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any comments, please let me know or I'll see you in this community.